Okay guys, in this tutorial we are going to post data to the server using PHP CURL. Now normally if you're going to post data to a server you would use a form and you would add a, a, a post method and you would add a text input and you would add a submit button and you would manually click that submit button to post the data over to the server. But what if you want to automatically send that data while the script is running within the script itself? Then you would use PHP CURL to do so. Okay, so I have an index.php file. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file and call that data.php. Okay, now what we're going to do is post data over to data.php. Now, data.php could be a file on any remote server, but for the sake of this tutorial, we have it on our local host. So we're going to post data over to data.php and then add that data to a database to observe it. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, quickly create a new database. So we're going to say, let's call this database uh, post data, create a new database. And within the database, database, let's create a new table. Let's call this data and let's give it two fields. The first is going to be an ID. Let's keep it as an integer and let's make it a primary key and auto increment it. And the second is going to, let's say my data and we're going to save it as a text. Okay, so we have our new database post data right here. So let's go back over to PHP, index.php, and let's begin. So open and close in PHP tags. Okay, so the data is initially going to be in the form of an array. So let's say array name. And let's say this is equal to John and age. Let's say let's say this is equal to um, 31. Okay, so this is our data in a simple way. Okay, so um, we are not going to post it as an array to the data.php. We're going to URL encode it into a string, then post it um, to data.php. So to URL encode it, we're going to say string. The function to do so is HTTP build query and pass this, the data array to it. Okay, let's echo the string out to see how it looks. If we go over to our page, our index of PHP, and we, we refresh it, as you can see here, it is named John and age equals 31. It has been URL encoded into that string. Okay, so let's go back over to our PHP file and let's begin. Let's create a new handler. Let's initialize the um, CURL session to, and create a new handler and say that is equals to um, CURL INIT. And the argument we're going to pass to this function is going to be the URL to data.php. So we're going to copy this right here and add it as the argument. And let's change this to data.php. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna set we're gonna set options onto this handler. So we're gonna say CURL set opt, and the first the first argument to this function is gonna be the handler, and the second argument is gonna be the constant we're gonna set as CURL opt post. So and this is gonna be the third argument to this function is gonna be true. Okay. So this is saying that we're going to use the post method to post data over to the server. Okay, the second option we're going to set onto this handler is going to be CURL set OPT CH. The constant is going to be CURL OPT post fields. And the third argument is going to be the string URL encoded string we created. Okay, so this string is going to be posted over to our data.php. Okay, and we also have another option we're going to set onto this. So we're going to say set opt. Um, we're going to pass the handler. We're going to say CURL opt return transfer. And we're going to set this to true. This is saying that the transfer is going to be returned as the return variable of the CURL exe function. So this CURL exe function is used to execute the session. So we're going to say CURL exec and we're going to pass the handler. Okay, so setting 
return transfer to true is saying that the transfer is going to be returned as the return variable of this function. The return variable is usually the response. So we want to say response is equal to CURL exe, the handler. Okay, so setting this to false, however, if we set this to false, this is saying that the return transfer is going to be outputted onto the page, right? We don't want to output the return trans the transfer onto the page. So what we're going to do is set it to true. So the return, the transfer is going to be returned as the return variable of this function, which is going to be response. So it's going to be returned into this response variable right here. Okay, then we're going to close the session. And pass the handler. Okay. Now we're not gonna use this response return variable response variable right here, so we're gonna get rid of it. Okay, so this is it. Now let's go over to data.php and let's open and close PHP tags. And let's grab the post variables that were sent over. This will automatic this this execution um, CURL exe C function will execute the session and send the data over to data.php. Now we're going to grab it with, we're going to say if is set dollar underscore post name dollar underscore post age, which is the variables right here, name, age. We're going to say, let's connect to the database. So db is equals to um, new mysqli um, localhost. Okay, um, the user is going to be root. Um, we don't have a password, and the database is going to be my is going to be data post data database. Okay, now we're going to set um, these um, post variables. We're going to say name. Now this is going to be basic um, validation, basic um, escaping of the string, but. If you're doing this in a production environment, you should further validate your variables, okay, and include a, a, a some form of string escaping. So we're gonna say um, db real escape string. Post name and age. We're simply gonna cast age to an integer because it should be an integer. Let's create a SQL query. So we're gonna say um, query is equals to insert, insert into our table main data. We're gonna set my data is equals to uh, we're going to simply um, add it as a string. So we're going to add the two variables as one string. So we're going to say name, um, comma, age. Okay, so we're going to say db query, query. Okay, this is simply going to insert this data into our database so that we can observe the data being posted to the data.php file. Okay, so if we go over to our database, our, if we go over to our page right here, our index.php and refresh, okay, then we go over to our database. As you can see here, the, na the data was added to the, the database. Okay, let's, let's go back over to this. Um, age is not being added. Uh, Yes, so int, this should be int age, post age, okay? So refresh the page, and as you can see here, John and the age was added to the database, okay? So 
to go over this, as you can see, we have our our data array. We created um, a URL encoded string of that array. Then we created, we initialized a session, a CURL session, and we set a couple of options onto that session. Those of uh, those including the post fields, the post method, and the return transfer. We sent this data over to data.php and we added it to our database. So anytime we refresh this page, the data is automatically being sent to data.php and it's automatically being added over to our database. As you can see here, John 31, that data was added as well. Okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial.